Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about the necrosis. So the link for the previous video on the necrosis is in the description box. You can check it out. So now we are going to see about the changes that are taking place in cell due to necrosis. So coming to the second change. Enzymatic digestion. Enzymatic digestion of a severely injured cell. So whenever a cell gets sliced, so let us keep so this as a cell, right? So within that there are resides uh, the nucleus, uh, then the mitochondria, then the Golgi apparatus and the lysosomes, right? Uh, so these cell organelles they reside in the cytoplasm. So of course you all know that the cytoplasm takes the eosinophilic stain and the nucleus takes the Basophilic stain. Let us keep this as the nucleus. So this is the cytoplasm. So where the cell organelles resides. Cell organelles like mitochondrial lysosomes they reside. So once the cell gets lysed or once the cell is severely injured. Uh, the cell organelles like the lysosomes they break down. So what happens when the lysosomes break down, their cell membrane gets ruptured so that the enzymes, the digestive enzymes, they come out of the lysosome. Uh, so these enzymes, they lead to the enzymatic digestion that is the proteolysis of the cellular components. Not only proteolysis it may be uh, lipolysis that is the lipid digesting enzymes they may come out of the lysosome so they lead to the lipid digestion and uh, proteolytic enzymes uh, when they come out of the lysosomes they lead to proteolysis right then uh, this enzymatic digestion is also of two types they are autolysis and heterolysis If the own cell enzymes digest the cell contents, then it is called as the autolysis. So for a better understanding, I am again repeating. So if a cell gets injured, so let us keep this as a cell. If it gets injured, uh, the cell organelles like lysosome, they break down, right? They break down lysosomes. They break down. So they lead to the release of enzymes. So they lead to proteolysis of the cellular contents. So what I am coming to say is that these digestive enzymes they are released from the own cell not from the outside. Right. So this type of enzymatic digestion, this type of enzymatic digestion, digesting the own cell contents, this is called as autolysis. Then what is meant by the heterolysis? So if the destructive enzymes are from outside rather than from the cell, if the destructive enzymes are from outside, then it is called as the heterolysis. So these destructive enzymes, they may come from the neutrophils and the microbes. So these enzymes which lead to further digestion. Further digestion of the cellular contents. Now coming to the next change. So once the cell gets lethally injured, the plasma membrane gets disrupted. So when the plasma membrane gets disrupted, what happens? The intracellular uh, contents, they just uh, start coming out, right? Uh, then what happens? Uh, the cell organelles like the lysosomes, they get disrupted. They get damaged. Then the enzymes, they come out of the lysosomes. Digestive enzymes, they come out of the lysosomes. All these things, what, what it leads to. So they all lead to the irritation, irritation of the neighboring tissues. 
irritation of the neighboring or surrounding tissues. So these all things finally lead to an important response that is the inflammatory response. So uh, whenever the inflammatory response is elicited in a necrotic cell, uh, the white blood cells start coming out. So the white blood cell cells start coming out of the necrotic uh, tissue and it just promote the cell repairing. And another important thing, so as a part of the inflammatory response, uh, the blood vessels which are nearer to the necrotic tissue, they undergo vasodilatation. So what happens? Increased permeability. So this vasodilatation is also a reason for the reddish appearance of the necrosed area. So whenever there is an increased permeability, uh, what happens then? The antibodies, proteins and the WBC, they start leaking into the necrotic area. Antibodies, proteins and WBCs. They start uh, getting released into the necrotic area. So whenever there is an increased permeability, and the antibodies, proteins and WBCs, they just start uh, leaking out into the necrotic area. Then as a part of the cell repairing, this neutrophils and the macrophages, what do they do? They phagocytose the necrosed cells. So whenever they are removing the necrosis cells, these neutrophils and macrophages, they release some special factors uh, which leads to the proliferation of the local cells. Local cells, they get proliferated, right? So, as a part of this activation of the local cells, the fibrocyte, they get activated. Fibrocyte, they just get converted into fibroblast cells. So, these fibroblasts, what do they do? They lead to collagenization. As a result, uh, the wound healing or the repairing of the necrosis cell, commences with the scar formation. So, and another important thing, this kind of inflammatory response, this kind of inflammatory response does not take place in apoptosis. Uh, 